Hello and welcome to Real to Real and the beginning of a brand new season with all new episodes. Hope you enjoyed your summer. But now it's Labor Day weekend and yes, that time of year again, back to school time for kids all across Western Massachusetts. Carolee McGrath visited a few schools in the Diocese of Springfield and tells us with prayer and excitement, the kids are back in the swing. And again, we're so thrilled to have some moms and dads with us and maybe some grandparents as we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father C.J. Watikas, pastor of St. Mary's in Longmeadow, kicked off the first day and new year with prayer at St. Mary's Academy, leading the students and teachers in the Memorare. Then it was time to rev up the crowd. With that, they were off to a new year, a new beginning, and a new principal, Amy Kane. Mrs. Kane taught kindergarten at St. Mary's previously. She says many of her classes have waiting lists. We do have many full classes. Our pre-K three is full with a waiting list. Our pre-K four five day is full with a waiting list. Third grade is over full by one. Um, sixth grade is full. Kindergarten is full. So we're very blessed to have so many families that want to be part of, of our community. What is it that you like about Catholic school? Um, I like that it's like a smaller environment and that like we do like daily praying and like rosary and then we get to go to like mass like monthly and stuff. That's... Enrollment is up at Pope Francis Prep in Springfield. The Cardinals are beginning the year with 424 students. That's an increase of 34 students over last year's number. Whether you're Catholic or not Catholic or very Catholic or sort of Catholic, um, the fact that the values that you have in ho at home at your dinner table are the values that we instill here with service and respect and love your neighbor, that appeals to a lot of folks, right? So I think for us, the ability to talk about your faith and practice your faith and give back to our community is what sets us apart. Senior Brenna Sears, who plays soccer and runs track, says she looks forward to giving back to the community. Yeah, so for Veterans Day, I believe we do, um, we put flags at the graves and we painted last year, I actually didn't go to the cemetery, but I painted the wood pallets that, I'm not sure if you saw them displayed um, out in the school, they're painted like the American flags and stuff, so that was a lot of fun too. And I'm in a Special Olympics club. Father John Reardon, the pastor of Holy Name Parish in Springfield, is the new chaplain at Pope Francis. I'll be doing the confirmation prep and I'll also be doing mass and hearing confessions and adoration. So I'm also really excited to be a part of their faith journey in that regard and to guide them and steer them in with regard to a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. I'm really I'm hopeful and looking forward to that. It's an exciting time. Enrollment is also up at St. Mary's High School in Westfield. For our fifth year in a row, our enrollment's up. Um, so we open the school year with 104 students, which is wonderful. Principal Matt Collins says students are looking forward to the opening of a new school chapel dedicated to Blessed Stanley Rother. Coming off the, this wonderful event in Springfield um, with, the, with Steubenville, and we had 28 kids from our parish go to that, so I feel like we're on fire at this point and we're ready to go. New this year for Catholic schools in the Diocese of Springfield is the Academy of the Little Flower Preschool here at St. Teresa of Luzier Parish in South Hadley. This is the second preschool to open since the pandemic. We're planning to open up preschool and a daycare um, this fall, uh, hopefully by the end of September, beginning of October to be ready. And we um, expect that we'll bring um, some young families into the parish and bring life to the building um, in the daytime. Bishop William Byrne oversaw a Catholic school in Maryland before he was installed as Bishop of Springfield. Catholic education is amazing. We not only educate the mind and give the kids chance to exercise the body, but we exercise the soul, the whole person. And we, it's a success across the board. Our kids uh, are, are learning at levels that, that their peers are not able to achieve not just because we were in school together in the pandemic, because our teachers are, are mission-oriented. So with faith, academics, and some fun mixed in, students are ready to learn and share the joy of Christ. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.
So exciting. I love this time of year. Good luck to all the students, teachers, and parents, and here's hoping for a successful academic year.